We're at the Belton Ham Fest. It's 7.20 in the morning. There's all these hams lined up. So look at all of these beautiful wares here in Belton, Texas. The biggest ham fest in the world right now on Ham Radio Tube. All right, let's see what's going on in here. All kinds of vendors in here, traveling from all over the world, tens of miles away. Got some embroidery here from the sign man. All your caps and patches and whatnot. Got our, got our friends here at ABR Industries. That's as, that's as full as this table is going to get <laughs> all morning. <laughs> We've already moved some colored sheath cables. I'll bet. These are what everybody's after right here, the chokes. I'm surprised they're still here. Just go to ABR Industries and go to the, the, the coax builder and what, do you just order a foot or so and throw on the chokes and exactly. that's yeah. it? Whatever kind of connectors you want, easy peasy. And if you use code KMRD10, you save 10%. So there you go. That's free money right there, boys and girls. Look who showed up at Belton. We got Armalock here. We're with Ryan. He's going to tell us about all these cool different uh, kind of safety protection cages for radios. Check this out. Well, we design, uh, manufacture, and sell uh, the protective cages and the relocation mounts and the peripherals for your radios. For example, this is my field day kit, which is very ham radio. Okay. It's a mess. It's what I have. <laughs> And believe it or not, there's an 857 cram down in there. Oh, really? I don't have to worry about my knobs getting broke off, pull it out for field day or camping or whatever, and it's ready yeah. to go. The original intent is a, a man pack field radio uh -huh. that you can operate off of your back or in your campsite. You can relocate your mounts for your R. That's, this is H, HF, mm. VHF. Everything stays in the pack, the battery. I have, I have the digital uh, the digital sound card in there, and all mm -hmm. I got to do is hook up my hook up my coax, throw my antenna over a bush, and and off you go. Yeah, that's sweet. So this is another. This is a good. This is my walking billboard here. This is a VHF <laughs> only, but this is a whole kit. This one's ready to go. Yeah. Uh, there's an external antenna in here, digital sound card, uh, battery battery charger. That's extra, a cool battery extra coax. Case. What do you have? A little. A 10 or 12 amp battery. Yeah, that's in there? a 10 amp hour okay. uh, li lithium iron phosphate. Uh -huh. Now, you can get an AGM battery of that si same frame, and it'll fit in the box, but you don't want to carry it because it's nah, no, nobody's nobody's using. We can't promote AGM. Right. Well, <laughs> well, in, and we can promote Dakota lithium though. There you go. In fact, that's what's in there. All the batteries yeah. here are Dakota lithium. Yeah. Uh, well, a lithium iron phosphate battery, it, it can be a puncture hazard. You don't, you don't want to puncture that, you could be in trouble. So we also manufacture and sell these hard plastic yeah, cases for specifically for that frame of battery. Here's one without without the box around it yeah. on an 817. And this one's, this one's wired up so you can run the radio and charge the battery. So if you're out in the field, okay. maybe you have your... Uh, your solar panel and charger going, you mm -hmm. can plug it in, keep your battery topped off. But that's what it looks like on the inside. Okay. And there's little L brackets that mount to to this particular radio in there. Okay. Uh, we have adapters that will mount it to a wider frame. Like take the 857 for example. Mm -hmm. It's a much wider frame radio, so we have spacers that would go. It does increase the height of the of the of the radio. Uh -huh. Another configuration, and this is another one of my field day radios. This one's ready to go with the 891 with yeah. the FC50 tuner on it. But you see the way I have the battery configured is just a different okay. a different manner. Yeah. But same idea, I can run the run the, the radio and plug into my outside power source, uh -huh. power the radio, charge the battery all at the same time. And then where the antenna ports are on the front again or well on this one they would be, but this is these are just examples okay. of, of the different configurations you could do gotcha. like Gotcha. You could relocate your mic port. On, yeah. the, on the A57, everybody that has an A57 knows you got to take the control head off to get to the mic port. So yes, you can the A91. That. Yep, yep, right. Yep, and yep. the A91 also has a USB on it. Yeah. You can relocate that. Okay. That's cool. And you got one for the 7300 too. And this is a great one. I really like this one. This shows a lot of maturity in the company, I think. Yeah. Uh, as far as the fit, you can get to everything. Uh, this is a, a good friend of mine. Yeah. He uses this exact setup on field day, and it runs okay. around in his trunk. So he throws yeah. a 7300 in his trunk with his coax and his uh, 
his his uh, 20 meter vertical and yeah you're not gonna <laughs> you're not gonna hurt that with this thing on there. no and Good you're Lord. not what are these made out of this is it's all 6061 aluminum okay it's laser cut bent powder coated everything here in the United States nice and you're they're based in you said Tennessee Tennessee okay nice cool man well thanks for taking the time to share with us yeah Appreciate thank you it. there you go go get some armor lock all right let's keep trucking here It's a what? Say that again. A Rhine extension. Oh, okay. We're gonna put. They got the armor locks for the Heath kits. <laughs> wow, that's a big old power supply. Huh? I'll bet. I'm gonna get the Alinko. Look at this old Yacy. Wow. That's cool. Hey, ARL's here. I should renew my uh, membership one of these days. Oh, wow. That was my first HF radio. Brings back so many memories. This guy stopped me and insisted on being on the channel, and he's got something cool on the table. So what do you got? AP Quick Cons, a little thing I came up with a few months ago. Uh -huh. And it's a power pole connectors are really great to use for quick connections. But if you don't have your crampers or you lose, your, uh, leave them at home, as long as you have this in your go bag, you can cut the wire and strip it, you have AP connection. That's pretty slick. Great for your workbench, so you want to test the radio real fast, but you don't want to waste your connections. Put it on your power supply, hook it up, take it back off. One for 12, two for 20. There you go. All right, you can find me at KE5EZZ at Outlook.com. There you go, here, there's your shameless plug there. KE5EZZ at Outlook.com. Those are pretty slick, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's great for the emergencies on a POTA. Uh, cut your wire. You don't have your cramps with you. As long as you can cut your wire and strip it, get back on the air. That's pretty slick. Great for field day coming up. Yep, yep, yep. One for 12, two for 20. There you are. It was okay. Cool 9100. And we got some old Kenwoods here. Throw that in the mobile. Very clean. It says it. Look at this guy. He opened it up. You can see all the tubes and dirt and oh man, if we had smell of vision, whoo wee! I bet a lot of you guys can imagine what that smells like. It's cool stuff though. Jeez, who who wants to be the guy to carry this out? Check that out. K1. 250 bucks. I don't think anything with Ellicraft on it was 250 bucks. I wonder if it's broken. How many of you are pissed that I'm holding this and I'm not buying this? <laughs> Big old Collins receiver here. Look at that guy. He's smooth. He's smooth. Look at this guy here. Just sitting there. Hey, everybody. Just sitting there. <laughs> Better than everyone else because he's in the Motorola crew. <laughs> Mr. Evan Barchek. Say hi to the kids. Hi, everybody. Say hi to Daniel. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> What's going on, man? Good, how are you? What are you guys up to? I like that new Explorer. You trying to be like me or what? Do you, do you have an Exploder? Yeah. I'm you don't have to hold the mic that close. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you have an Exploder too? Yes. Nice. Did you do a better install of your radio than I did? Uh, yes. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to install my radios better? <laughs> no, because I didn't do mine. I paid. Oh. <laughs> nice. So what do you what do you guys what are you guys promoting here? Um, nothing. Really. Nothing. We're just, no. we're just selling stuff we don't need anymore. Yeah. Oh, imagine that. What are you selling? I've got some Johnson radios. Some who? You want to see my big Johnson? Oh man, that is a that is a big Johnson there. You've got two big Johnsons. Three. Let me hold them. Oh, yep. Can't attest. They're big Johnsons. A sure microphone. Wow, look at that. I'm a sure fanboy. That seems well, surely you can sketchy. Be for the great price of nothing. Surely you must be joking. For the great price of nothing. You know, I still don't think I want it. Imagine. How many people's mouths have eaten that microphone? I don't think you have a radio for that plug. Either. There's probably 
What is it? Not HIV, but full-blown AIDS on that windscreen right there. What is this big stuff here? Look at this. Ooh-wee. That is some big freaking coax right there. Wow. I don't know what that is, but it's big. Look at that little guy. It's kind of neat, huh? A little two meter radio. All mode, no kidding. Look at that. Is that QST on DVD? That's a find right there. Or is that an audio CD? What is, who knows? Oh, it's QST on CD-ROM. Wow. There you go, 75 to 79. That is the find right there. Look at that, there's something you don't see every day. ICOM linear amplifier. I wonder how many watts that is. 2KL, is that really a 2,000 watt amp? No way. Check this out, Yesu FT100, HF, VHF, UHF, all mode. That's pretty cool. That's, that's, almost, that's almost tempting to buy. That'd be perfect for the ATOS. And they got a, uh, what is that, 897 there too. That's a cool radio. That's a good portable radio. Look at that guy. Cherokee six meter transceiver. That is very specific. <laughs> I would like to talk to nobody most of the year. That's pretty neat though, huh? BNC on there. Those were the days when radios had BNCs on them, weren't they? That's cool. This might beat the $5 Bofang. $5 Kenwood. That's pretty sweet. In Soviet Russia, Morse code you, ha <laughs> ha. So tell me this is not a tease. There's actually an FTM 400 sitting here. He's asking 350 for it. Newest firmware, so it means it still has terrible menus because it's a Yesu. But I mean, that's in. He could he could clean the screen, but it's <laughs> it's just in darn good condition right here. That's uh, that's tempting right there. It's a different weekend this year, so yeah, it should be. Here's Jason live streaming. <laughs> Inception. Inception. Yeah. That's right. All right. No. No. I get I get the magic power of editing. Yeah, right. Man, I don't know, dude. It is it is very tempting that 400. Kind of want the 300 though. Like I think they both suck to use because they're Yesu. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe at the end of the video, I'll have an answer. All right, well, while I ponder that, let's go outside and see what's happening out here in the, the flea market out here. All the, all the flea bags hang out. Ah. What's up, Mike? I don't know. He's trying, to get, uh, he's trying to get Windows 11 to work with his G90. Yeah, that's... I told him, good luck. <laughs> Frank, and I also told help. him, I don't know why you're asking me about Windows computers. Frank, help. <laughs> So it's up to you, Frank. So here's the problem. Here's Main Trading Company. And there's Richard in his big old cowboy hat. And here's the FTM 300, which is what I really want for 379. So you see my dilemma. What do I do? Spend the money is what you're probably all saying right now, right? Maybe. So that's Richard with Main Trading Company, writing up my receipt to take my money for the FTM 300. I just have to. I've wanted this radio for a while. I, I deserve it. I got a new car. I got to put a new radio in it. That's how I'm justified. It's a business expense. That's it. I'll make a review for you guys. So now that Richard has all my money, let's say hi to Richard from Main Trading Company. Tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about your company. What do you got going on there? Hi. Been in business, what, 15 years almost? And um, we're selling Kenwood, Icom, and Yezu. That's great. And you uh, buy, sell, trade, you pretty much make any deal out there, huh? Hey, we've been, that's that's how we got started. Taking trade-ins, we've been helping hams all across the country yeah. for, for 15 years now. And we, we've traded for just about everything. 
Um, but as soon as I say that, something new and weird will come in. <laughs> yes. And speaking of new and weird, maybe not so much weird, but you just took on a new product. What did what did you get? Uh, expert amplifiers. Yeah, buddy. Um, I mean, they're a, a, a smart amplifier. Yeah. Um, tuner built in. Um, they have three models right now, a, a 1300 watt, a 1500 watt, and a 2K, and uh, they're really awesome. And you're you're now the, the official U.S. distributor, is that yeah, what's going on? Yeah, soon to be universal distributor. Okay, no. wow. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but yeah, North America and Central America. Okay. Um, so we're really excited about this new venture. Awesome. It's and when be. when do you expect delivery of these? Uh, next week, actually. Okay. So they are available on our website for purchase now. Okay. Expertamps.com or mtcradio.com. Awesome. Um, just get on there and get you one. Yeah, I know, I know you're excited for that. I'm, I'm happy yes, for you. Congratulations. All right, man. Well, congratulations on that, and thanks for taking my money. And... Thanks for taking some time to tell us about your uh, your company there. All right, man. All right, Thanks. brother. Cheers, See man. You, brother. Mm -hmm. And now that I bought that, watch me find one for, for like stupid cheap out here in the in the swap. <laughs> That'd be just my luck, right? Let's see if we can find some other cool stuff. Check this out: mini donuts. Got a generator on the back. Big old mast holding up the antenna. I got a they got a mag mount here with a ham stick. That's pretty slick. If you want some mini donuts, go check out Ellie's Mini Donuts. What kind of antenna they run in there? Uh, Fiberflex, okay. I've not used one of those. That's pretty slick though, huh? There's this guy. He's got a small YouTube channel called Ham Radio 2.0. Looks like he's selling some wares. Oh, he's got the, the eco flows out. These are, these are sweet. Big old batteries. And the Starlink. Careful that don't get run over. Got the armor lock set up there from uh, Tech Prepper. That's a cool setup. All right, we got to check this out. We got a DX Commander Expedition out in the wild on concrete, guide with cinder blocks. And he probably built it the right way. <laughs> yeah, I saw you built that center. I was like, I'm comment, and everybody already did. That's how it's supposed to be done. Right? <laughs> see the doinky thing? Yep, 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 yep. Yes, yes, that yes, looks yes. a lot better than uh, how I did it. <laughs> yeah, I see the wire goes in, and then you put the doinky after that. Yeah. That's slick. That's great. I already broke it, though. And I love it. He's just got it guide with cinder blocks. So I just found Daryl. We uh, were hanging out at uh, the Galveston uh, Poda thing on New Year's, and he just started beeping. What What is around your neck? So this is a fox. Uh, this was made by a gentleman that goes by Cold Brew at uh, DEF CON. Okay. And this was the, the DEF CON fox for the fox hunt. And uh, he sold them later on, so I grabbed one. And it plays an interesting tone. You can customize it for your own stuff here. Can't hear it. Oh, there it is. There it goes. And of course, it would be that. <laughs> <laughs> so, if anybody was uh, to find me while I'm here, I have some raffle tickets I was going to give them, but nobody's nobody's looked for it yet. <laughs> That's fine. Show us the back. What's on? Uh, what's the what's the guts? Uh, SA eight five eight. Okay. With a little uh, ESP thirty two. Very is very too simplistic. Cool. Nothing fancy. That is too cool. That's awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. So go get one of those if you're in a fox hunting. <laughs> you are the fox, how cool is that? Now you know you hear people talking about, oh, you're not a real ham, blah, blah, blah. Well, you don't have a real antenna unless you have a real antenna. Look at that little guy. That's freaking cool. It's like a chalk line with a wire sticking out. Oh, hey, look at the carabiners. And then there's your transformer. So what is this a nine to one or a forty nine to one or what is this? Forty nine to one. Okay, so it's a forty nine to one. And you just reel it out to. Yeah, it's tunable though. How long is it? The transformer is directly connected to the wire. Right. How long is it though? Sixty five. Okay. So forty through whatever. And you just so like even your odd harmonics like seventeen and twelve, you just reel it in and. 
That's pretty slick. What, are, what do these go for? 120. 120? That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. That's pretty neat. And check this out. So like if the bands are really crappy, this thing right here that says fill, you open this up, and that's where you pour the band spray, right there. And then all of a sudden you can magically work the world. <laughs> that's too cool. And that's gonna be a wrap of the spring Belton Ham Festival this year. They do this uh, two times a year, one time in April and again in October. And it's a really fun event. And honestly, if you have the time, get here on Friday early because all these guys out here in the flea market, they're all here hanging out. There's a guy that cooks barbecue. He doesn't charge any money, just takes donations, put whatever you want in there. Everybody just hangs out and has fun. And then Saturday is actually the, uh, the official festival. It starts at seven in the morning. Everybody lines up over there and has fun. And it's just, you, you, you hang out with friends and spend money that you don't need to spend. And <laughs> that's the way she goes. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Belton Ham Fest. My name is Mike K at MRD. This is Ham Radio Tube 73, y'all.